Hello everyone, welcome to Ignition. And today we're going to paint in Plasti Dip and 2K Varnish. So if you've watched any of our series, you know this is my new 2021 Fiat Panda 4x4 and I don't really like these plastic bits. Now the intent was to take them off and wrap to line them inside and out, but it didn't prove so easy, did it? The brains here, our combined pea brain could not, well, well no, the, the exact problem is the whole front bumper would have to come off and then we'd have to dismantle it from the inside out but getting them off was sort of like a one-time thing well yeah they it's definitely seem like they're pushed on with never to be mm, pop, they got pop in plastic clips and it just wasn't going to happen and was I it think how it's been done in the factory it goes on and yeah in a way that when things are added to it we now can't get it well no, we just can't no do it. We, we just can't do, we it. can't do it so we're going to plasti dip it but we've seen online that you can 2K varnish over it, mm. which gives it a much more robust finish, a nicer looking They say finish. it allows to be polished. Yeah, which... well, this is sacrificial. Yep. Um, I've got somebody, a man called Who Skid knows? Plate mm. Harry. Yeah. Um, he apparently is gonna produce a skid plate for these, so... Um, That'd be very cool. We'll be getting one. There's mm. a, I'll put a picture in. There's a, what are they called? A rally car. A rally. Pan, uh, the, the Pan Dakar. Pan Dakar. So Pan it's Dakar. a panda that's done yeah. the Dakar rally and it's a Pan Dakar. I'll put a picture in somewhere and it's got, it's got the skid plate yeah, I Yeah, the want. skid plate up there. And something. I need. Yeah, it's awesome. But, um, so the paint we're putting on is sacrificial, but let's uh, not waste any more time. We've, we've gone through the boring process of masking. No point you watching that. It's no. Oh, oh, in forever. All day yesterday we're at that. But, old pea brain here what i've purchased is a couple of cheap and nasty plastic dust sheets so we are we've driven onto one which is going to enable us to mask the wheels mask the wheels off nicely and then we're going to put one over the top and then cut through where we're going to be spraying mask that round should be job done and yep. we haven't spent hours at it so uh, this will all be fast forward and if we can get the cat out of there yeah we'll the be laughing yeah Fully done. Cat has gone out. Yeah, we had to shut the cat out. We blocked the cat flap. Ripping up the plastic, so... Because um, uh, anyone following the cat, we've now adopted it. Yep. So um, it is now our, our cat. cat. It is our cat, but uh, so he's Reg outside. So is out. Yeah, Reg is outside, but what have we got here then? So we've got, we're going to Plasti Dip it. We oh, are, we've gone for the big boy this we time. We are using matte black from Pinterdip. Very, very... I have to say, efficient. Very efficient. Mm. Next day delivery, wasn't it? Next day delivery here in Portugal. Yeah. And we've invested a whole 69 euros in this sort of vacuum cleaner thing. <laughs> vacuum cleaner thing. This is what, um, if you look on YouTube, we've seen um, dipyourcar.com. Dipyourcar.com with Fonzie, who is the uh, the god of mm, plastic. He is the plastic dip god. He uses one similar to this, um, and it seems to shoot it at a much wider. It's sort of the best thing to use it gives it a much wider spread and it's quite a cool gun this does sound like a vacuum cleaner though well, you're right vacuum cleaner. yeah so as far as we're aware because again most things seem to come with no instructions do they no nothing so you was that in there we're guessing <laughs> turn this on bear with us oh i'm getting shot hang on, hang on. So there are no settings but on it. That's shooting all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as soon and as then you, you press the trigger to, to oh, release Oh, to release that. I was thinking as soon as you turn it on, if the paint comes out, yeah. But it doesn't. He had a so, private education. And I've got his brain. Mm. Actually, and not private education for long, though. No, only a couple of years. But we're going to be clear coating as well, aren't we? And we haven't done that before. We haven't done no, the clear coating. Not over plastic dip. No, so well, we're... Well, that's not strictly true. Bear with me. So here's my test piece. Now... How good is that? So that is Plasti Dip, and that's Plasti Dip with 2K hardener all out of a K. 
can, um, obviously on a piece of metal, metal, aluminium, and it you can see how much nicer that finish is on it the red. Really it really brings out the metallic. It really does bring out the metallic side in it, but it's really on this job, it's for strength. But if I do that with my lack of fingernails, it really doesn't make any difference at all from a strength. In fact, the Oh dear, that's quite disappointing. Well, you live and learn, don't you? <laughs> What's that? What's it done? Oh. So it makes it weaker. What's well, so what? Right now, is his little brains tinking over it. <laughs> we were mid-conversation, <laughs> but... <laughs> and he says, I've got a pea brain. What we're going to do is, we're going to fill this with gunk, we're going to spray it. We'll show you as much as we can. This makes a shitload of noise. We've got a great big fan to evacuate as much fumes as we can. We can't open. We were going to do it with the door open, but it's flying ant day. Yes, flying ants typical. So as soon as we've done it, we will open the door. We've got ourselves. We were bollocked in yeah, the video <laughs> quite rightly. So although we did wear masks. Every time we do proper painting, we do wear. Yeah, and we were stupid. These. We took the masks off while we were on camera, which was stupid because that shows people you're not wearing a mask. Yes. Um, although we were only for resin wearing. Covid, COVID masks, masks, which was stupid. It was. So we, we took that on board. And we've got our respirators out. So this, we believe, doesn't need diluting. No. Nope. So it's going in the pot. We're going to have a little practice spray, which we'll show you. Yes. Then all the fans will go on and it's just going to be fast forward. We've so got a storage box lid to test on. Yeah. And if you have watched this and you want to know properly how to plasti dip, Fonzie Head from dipyourcar.com because yeah. he is the king. And I'm taking uh, inspiration. I'm trying, trying to get the arms like him because if you watch, he's nothing uh, like uh, God, his arms are unbelievable. But anyway, let's get this pot of uh, plastic dip open. Wow. Oh, That's about. interesting gear, that. Last coat time. Mm. So nervous of the last coat. Let's get a couple of things which you probably saw. Firstly, the hose keeps blowing out of the bit that goes into the vacuum it's cleaner and itself out. It, isn't it? It, it just keeps shooting itself out. So old gaffer tape has come on. Mm -hmm. And as oh. you can see, yeah. um, we slightly knocked that, and this bit actually is molded into this. I thought it had just fallen out but it's yes. actually quite I thought it was clipped in yeah I thought it was clipped in but it's not it's actually physically broken off that, so that was literally a fall from its holder there yeah the it holder it, it doesn't it really doesn't go in that holder very well so it just rolled out and cracked off the front the butt is that this makes it vastly easier mm. and massively in fact um if you farted God, it. it reeks. That does make it a lot cleaner. There's hardly any, we'll show you in a second, or if you notice around the front, the round the back is something we spilled, but mm. if you notice, there is no, no overspray. overspray. No, literally nothing whatsoever. Um, and last time I did it out of spray cans, I left a big mess on the floor. Um, so the spray cans leave a lot more residue than that does. And also we've got the fan on at the door, but as soon as we turn that off and take our masks off, we can't smell anything no, in here, which smells. is... So there must be much less sort of small vapours going out of that. No, no, so hi, I think this is brilliant. I don't know, I mean, we paid 69 euros for this. Which uh, isn't cheap, but it does feel cheap. It feels like a piece of junk. Mm. And for 70 quid, I think, you know. Should be a bit better than that. It should be, um, but we'll reorder, uh, I'm assuming we can get a spare front for it, but highly recommend, if you're gonna oh, do anything, yeah, yeah. highly recommend this, because the, the, we've hardly used any of the plastic dip. Nothing. And this is good, but now the big news is we are not going to clear coat it. No, we're not gonna clear coat it. And the reasons we're not gonna clear coat it is it's gonna get scratched. It's a mat which will look good against the gloss of the car we think but also if we clear coat it i'm going to scratch it i'm convinced i'm going to scratch it this way we can just touch it up yes so that so was his that. idea and he was being quite sensible and i do think it looks better matt myself so so let's crack on and get the last, last coat, coat on. on so at least we speed it up 
Now you have to take off the tape when the plastic dip's wet because of course if you leave it to dry the plastic dip will peel off with the tape when you remove it. So make sure you take the tape off quickly. Now the plastic dip's cured for a few hours, we're going to remove the rest of the tape around the car. Obviously we don't want to do this at the beginning when it's wet because we could risk damaging the plastic dip. So we're delighted with the results. We, what we're really surprised is, is how the factory finish here, you can hardly tell the difference. No, so it's, it's come out a lovely colour and like you say, it matches has, the plastic perfect. It has, well chuffed with it, I yeah. think it looks great. We couldn't be happy with that, we're just interested to see how long it lasts. Yeah, I don't think it's going to last long. No, because with the off-road that we plan on doing, that yeah. might get scuffed up a little bit. And day-to-day -day driving, I suppose. All the well, that's why we didn't um, clear coat clear it, because no. uh, as Nath said, uh, there was a bit here that um, came off with the tape. masking mm -hmm. tape and just touched it in and then it sort of melts the plasti dip and re sort out. of almost yeah. heals itself. Yeah, you know it's brilliant stuff if you need to touch it up it's a piece of cake. Yeah so it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts yeah. and uh, hopefully you'll subscribe and uh, give this a like and join us on our expeditions off-road to see just how many stone chips I can get on it. Yes so that's all for this week's video so we will see you in the next okay, one. Okay thanks for watching. Thank